What's up everybody, Shane here. I've been getting a lot of requests to do some more Ryan Adams tutorials, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to learn how to play Come Pick Me Up off the record Heartbreaker. Let's get right to it. Okay, there are five different distinct parts to this song. I'll be showing you how to play them all, and then we'll put them all together at the end to play the whole thing. I'm capoed on the third fret, as he does on the album Heartbreaker. And all the chords I give you will be relative to the capo. When I say play a G chord, what I mean is play a G shape relative to the capo, okay? Our intro is going to be a G to an E minor 7th. We're not going to move our pinky or ring finger to a C twice. Now throughout this song, and you can watch on the Letterman video in the link I provided, uh, he's going to do some variations. The C is one of the things he does. You can do either a C add 9, like this, or you can do just a C major and then add your pinky to the third fret on the high E string, relative to the capo again, of course. So either one. You will find me playing both throughout the lesson, and you will find him. It's one of the ways you can kind of make the song your own. Find the one that you enjoy the most. But at any rate, on the intro, when you get to the C, I'm going to make it like this for now. You're going to do a hammer-on from open to two on the D string, and then play the G string open. There's also going to be a quick step between the G to the E minor 7th in the intro, okay? Just kind of listen to the song and play along with it to get to the timing, okay? Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, now we'll move on to the verse. It'll be a G to the E minor 7th, to one of your C's, to an A minor, okay? And on this A minor, he's going to do a little trick. Uh, the riff you're hearing is he's pulling off with his first finger from 1 to open on the B string, okay? Okay, let's try that again. Again, just kind of listen with it, listen to it, experiment with it, get your own. But let's see what the verse is going to sound like, okay? This next little part I'm going to call the walk, which is, I know you could, I wish you would. It's going to go from an A minor, and then leave your first finger in place, walk up and just use a B note, second fret, A string, up to a C. Make sure you do the hammer on there, okay? Okay, let's see what that walk sounds like. The next part is going to be the chorus. It's going to be a G to that C add 9 to an A minor to a C or C add 9 again. Okay? Let's see what that sounds like. Okay? Now at the end of the chorus, we're going to be playing uh, a D to hold. You can either play it open. I wish you would. Or the D over A. And only, you want to mute the unfretted notes. You want to mute the high E and the G string, okay? Uh, just let your first finger lay kind of sloppily to do that. So when you end the chorus, he's going to hit that D. I wish you would. Back to the intro. Okay, the only other part is kind of at the end, I'm going to call it the bridge. It's going to be, I wish you'd make up your mind. Uh, it's a D, and they're just single hits here, a D. I play it open here to like, you're going to make a G chord, but take the root note out of it, mute that note. So it's maybe, uh, let's see, I'm going to call it G over B. I'm not sure if that's the correct chord name though. So C add nine. Let's see what that sounds like. I wish you'd make up my bed So I could make up my mind Okay, now let's go ahead and play through the song. Uh, just follow along with me, okay? Here we go.
That's How You Play, Come Pick Me Up by Ryan Adams off the record Heartbreaker. It's a song I enjoy very much. You know what it's missing, and I do too, and that's harmonica. Record some videos of yourself playing harmonica to that. Uh, video respond them here, you know? Respond to this video as that. Anyway, thanks again so much for stopping by. I hope you'll come back and see some more lessons soon. Thank you.